Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing extremely fine. My name is Prince and you are watching that extreme. In this video, I am going to share the complete review of Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 and will show you how you can install this on your OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So after a long long wait, OnePlus has finally started rolling out Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 based on Android 12 for the OnePlus 8 series and OnePlus 9R. If you go into the About Device section, you can see that the Android version is 12 and the Android security update is February 5th, 2022. And you can see that the build number is C.10 which means Open Beta 1. Now I am quickly going to show you how you can install this Open Beta 1 on your device. For installing Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1, you need to be on Oxygen OS 11. If you are on Color OS 12, then you need to downgrade to Oxygen OS 11. And please do make sure to take a full backup of your data. Once you are on Oxygen OS 11, you need to download the file attached in the description below. Once the file has been downloaded, move the file to the root directory of your internal storage. Now you need to rename this file and remove .jar from the end of the file. And lastly, all you need to do is go to system update, select local upgrade and select the file saved in your internal storage. And that's it, Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 will be installed on your device. Now I have been using Oxygen OS 12 Open Beta 1 for the last one week and I'll give you a quick review about the features that are present in this build. So the launcher has been changed and it is now Color OS launcher and honestly I really like this launcher as it has more features than Oxygen OS 11. I mean it is just fully loaded with features. You can move all the icons on the screen with just one swipe instead of moving each icon one by one. You can reach any icon on the screen with, with just one swipe from the left hand or from the right side of the screen. If you go into the app drawer, you can see we don't have any bloatware on this one. And the scout option has also been removed from the launcher and it has now been moved to the shelf menu. So if you are someone who uses the scout search feature, you can set it up from the shelf menu. Talking about the shelf menu, the shelf menu has also been redesigned and it now looks very compact and clean. The widget has been reduced and it shows more information and less space. You can access the new shelf menu by swiping from the right side of the notification bar which gets a little annoying sometimes to be honest. Moving on to the animations, the animations are completely new and refreshing and they just look great. But not all of the animations have been changed and we still see some animations from old Oxygen OS 11. The haptic feedback on Oxygen OS 12 is also better and more subtle than Oxygen OS 11. If we talk about the personalization on Oxygen OS 12, we get the new wallpaper picker menu and we have the ambient display options. However, all the clock styles here are just same as Oxygen OS 11. Next, we also have all the new theme store where you can download both paid and free themes. I don't personally like theme options, so I just don't use it. Moving on, we have a quick settings icon selector and accent color picker. The important point to notice is that we still don't have material you theming on Oxygen OS 12. And finally, we have some fingerprint animation options and horizon light options. Next up, let's talk about the dark mode. The dark mode is new and revamped and you get three types of dark mode to choose from. Their medium and gentle are dark grayish while the enhanced one is pitch black. Now I do like this mode as it turns all the background to pitch black but there is a little problem. The notification panel is still dark grayish. The volume panel is still dark grayish and this was not the case with Color OS 12. So I hope this gets fixed in the future builds. Now let's talk about the gaming mode. First of all, you get a new game mode but it's not the same as the one you get on Color OS 12 though there are some new features in this one also. You can add shortcuts to any app and a voice changer is now added. But if you want the super OP gaming mode from Color OS 12 on Oxygen OS 12 then drop a comment and I'll make a separate video about it. Now if we go into BGMI you can see that the refresh rate has only been capped to 60 and thus you can't enjoy 90 FPS in BGMI. Talking about battery life, I didn't face any drastic battery drains on this one. In fact battery is really great on Oxygen OS 12 as I am getting somewhere around 8 hours of screen on time on normal usage. Also we have a high performance mode in settings which does improve the performance of the device a bit. And for some weird reason, charging is slow on Oxygen OS 12 as compared to Oxygen OS 11. I have not done a proper testing on this but the phone now takes longer to charge from 0 to 100. Moving on, the camera has been bumped but nothing new has been added. In fact, it clicks the same quality of pictures as Oxygen OS 11 and here are a few camera samples of Oxygen OS 12.
The fingerprint sensor and face unlock are as fast as they were on Oxygen OS 11 and I have not faced any issues in unlocking the device. We also have app locker and private space feature to lock your personal apps and hide your images and videos. The widebind security level is N1 and you can enjoy ST content on Netflix and other streaming websites. The safety net also passes and hence you will not face any problems with the payment apps. We also have other features like 100 mode from Android 12, Zen mode, 3 tab to partial screenshot and other gestures. All in all it's a very stable build and you can easily use it as a daily driver on your device. It has a lot of features from Color OS 12 but not all of them are present. Also there are some bugs here and there and I'll make a separate video about them. But if you want to get a taste of what to expect in Oxygen OS 12, you should definitely try this build out. Comment down if you have any queries regarding Oxygen OS 12. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching.